So, Joe, sorry, let's go back to Joe, because Joe's here, he's got work to do, he's in the, the, the warehouse. So, what's your question uh, for Russell? My question was that if you could invite any five people round for dinner... Just dinner, though. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> yes. Who, well, unless there was a bit, unless you went out afterwards, I don't know, but... And who would you be and why? Right, well, like, the real answer, Joe, in a way, is it would be people that I actually know, my friends, because otherwise like, oh, I'd be yeah. awkward oh, and nervous. So, like, they're people that I do hang out with, like my mate Sharon and my mate Nicola, or my mates that I hang out with all the time. But, like, I know that these questions, in a way, that you want to know who I admire. I would like, so, like, Che Guevara, the Cuban yeah. revolutionary, I'd invite him, right? He's one of the subjects of my show, Messiah Complex. Malcolm X, the black civil rights leader, I'd invite him. He's intense and hardcore and brilliant and restored prior to those people people mm-hmm. uh, uh, that during the civil war I mean sort of elevated a subjugated class of people uh, Gandhi I'd have him round although he might be difficult because he's very very vegetarian and he goes yeah. on hunger strikes a lot he might be like so I'm not eating unless the conditions are exactly right <laughs> uh, and then wouldn't it be like this isn't an endorsement of him like I'd maybe make him sit at a child's table but Hitler just so you could go Hitler what were you thinking you know, like this, and I'd all the time I'd be saying, Hitler, your invitation is not an endorsement of the horrors of the Second World War, but it's nice to have you over. Sit down. What's going on? What are you thinking? So imagine that dinner table. No women there, so there's not going to be much. Well, my normal mates have come Sharon's as well. Sharon's there as well. Yeah, Sharon's there and Nicholas there. And Gandhi. Yeah, Gandhi's <laughs> there, there, there. Probably annoying Gandhi, I would imagine, by that stage. Perhaps they could help, like, serving drinks and that. I would as well. Yeah. I actually get quite nervous at dinner parties, to be honest, Joe. Like, I never know which bit you're meant to go cheers at. And then, like, yeah, probably yeah. making sure everyone, oh, no, not everyone's got some liquid in their glass. Oh, no, we're doing the cheers at the wrong time. So, but, like, uh, I think if those people were there, at least we could discuss concepts like revolution, consciousness, how do we change yeah. the world, how do we bring about a peaceful new revolution for the young people so they grow up free. <clears throat> yeah. How do you like, feel about that, Joe? Yeah. You cleared I your throat to say yeah there. Well. It's good because I, I can... Act- what? Who's on your list? If someone's coming in your Who's office, that is that your dad? Joe, get back yeah. to work. Is that your dad? Uh, we can morning. see Joe on Skype, of course. There so. he is. Hey, we've got to have the news again, Russell. More news. More Nothing news. else can have happened. It's basically the same, but I things have moved on. I don't know. It might have happened. Hey, Joe, thank you for talking to us this morning. No problem. Bye, Joe. Have a wonderful day. Hi, Joe's dad. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Yeah, the same Bye. person Bye. just walked past and twice. And Joe's dad's tr- That's so like the Matrix. trying to get on telly, yeah. You know when then the cat goes past twice in the Matrix? Yeah. The, the Joe's dad that walked past happened. twice. Oh There's my a glitch God, in the Matrix. Something <laughs> weird's going to kick off. There's a glitch off. somewhere. Something oh weird's God. happening. There's a glitch in the Matrix. Do you have to go or do you want to stay for one more chat? I'll stay news? for one more chat, mate. Okay. I'm in no rush. Okay, let's do that then. Let's have the news now.